Our stock of the hour now is Walgreens Boots Alliance. Shares down the most in five years. The company shredded its previous earnings outlook and not in the heavy metal way. Here to explain is Romain Bostic. Yeah, I mean, this really caught a lot of people by surprise. Keep in mind that the estimates going in for the year, for the full year, was growth of about 7 to 12% on a comp basis full year. They're basically now saying their revenue is going to be flat on the year. And then you sort of look at the breakdown. Keep in mind about 75% of the revenue for this company comes from the farm pharmacy part of the store. That was actually rose in terms of sales, about 1.9% on a comp sales basis for the quarter. The problem was gross margins just fell off a cliff. So essentially, they're writing more prescriptions. They're not just they're not making as much money off those prescriptions. That you heard a lot on the conference call about pricing pressures. There's a lot of uh, focus now uh, to uh, move more to generics, and even those generic pricing uh, are not really working in the company's favor. And now they're trying to find ways to sort of cut costs to sort of mitigate that damage. Remain, what's the read across to the other pharmacies? Well, we're seeing all of them uh, lower today. In fact, the main indexes that track uh, all of the pharmacy benefit managers uh, are down today. You're seeing CVS a move lower, even some of the sort of uh, suppliers like McKesson also moving lower. And again, this really feeds into the broader narrative. This really isn't a Walgreens issue. This is really much more of a macro issue, not only here in the U.S., but even overseas, where there's just a lot of pressure to move prices down. Keep in mind, here in the U.S., we have a major hearing tomorrow uh, on Capitol Hill that's going to address drug pricing. You have uh, the president of the United States, as well as his potential challengers, who have basically promised to make health care and prescription drug pricing a major focus of the 2020 campaign. And companies like uh, Walgreens are right in the middle of that.